They can run, but they can't hide. What I'm talking about is compression wrinkles on your neck and your face. In fact, what I'm doing right now prevents both, and I'm going to explain how that can work for you too in today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we jump in, I wanna just say a quick thank you to all of you who were checking in on me during the hurricane. It's quite something. Um, I don't live on the beach anymore. I actually live uh, further in, so it wasn't as bad where I'm at. I didn't have flooding, just a lot of tree limbs and a lot of mess to clean up this past weekend. But, you know, we got through it and we're helping folks out here locally get through it. So it's Florida. We have hurricanes. And while this one was really, really bad for a lot of people, um, we came out OK here. So, again, I appreciate you checking in on me. So let's talk about compression wrinkles, because we don't spend enough time thinking about the things that we do that actually lead to those deep lines and wrinkles on the neck, around the eyes, very often physical things that we can do to make improvements. Compression wrinkles, like dynamic wrinkles over time, lead to static wrinkles that stick around and nobody wants that. So even if you're using a really great skincare routine, if you're squishing up your face at night, creating deep lines and creases while you sleep, or you're using your smartphone a lot or your devices and you're putting your head down, you're putting 50 extra pounds of pressure on the area of the neck, it's gonna create lines and creases. And we see that in young folks today. I have a lot of people write me that have these issues and they're in their 20s. So let's talk about how to stop that. Obviously with devices is to make sure you monitor your use and keep your head up straight when you're using them. Easy fix for that one. Sleeping and sleep wrinkles can be a little bit more difficult. And as I said, while skincare products work extremely well, a lot of people don't have budget for Botox and fillers. So actually using something like a sleep pillow, which I do talk a lot about here on the channel because I have two of them, can really make a difference. It's an initial investment, but it's one that's long-term for the health of your skin and the way your skin is going to look and age. Now, there've been a lot of clinical studies out there on how these pillows work. And obviously, if we're not squishing our face, if we're relieving pressure in an area, then we're not gonna have those lines and creases form in the first place. But if you already have them, Clinical studies have also shown that by using a sleep pillow such as this one, and I'm gonna explain how to use this and where I got mine from here in a second, but those studies have proven you can see a great reduction in these deep creases and wrinkles, and you can prevent them from occurring simply by using something that protects your face from that smushed up position that many of us have. Now, I'm a tosser and turner. I sleep on both sides. It's hard for me to sleep on my back. I've had to learn to try to do that. But a pillow such as this one by Sleeping Glow that's designed to support your neck so you don't get those wrinkles and creases while you sleep if you're sleeping on your back and to protect the face from being squished up against cotton material, which also wicks moisture away, which makes the problem worse. A pillow such as this one designed with these cutouts or divots, as I like to call them, that keep your face as you sleep from being squished up. Again, I have two of these. I have one that I keep here at home and one that travels with me wherever I go. And this one in particular by Sleeping Glow is my favorite because it came with a copper tinsel pillowcase. And we all know copper is really good for your skin. It's antibacterial. If you're someone who has issues with breakouts, the occasional bumps, a cotton pillowcase is going to absorb oil and bacteria. It's going to build up on it. Whereas when you have a product like this with a copper pillowcase, that's not going to happen. And the other great thing about this pillowcase is that skincare products are repelled, stay on the skin and don't seep into the material. And the copper tinsel material stays active no matter how many times you wash the case. So I'm a big, big fan and a big, big proponent of sleep pillows because again, if we stop the wrinkles in the first place, then we don't have to deal with getting rid of them. Not to mention the benefits that this type of pillow gives you in your sleep habits, also supporting the correct position of your spine and your neck as you sleep. Multiple benefits come from this type of pillow. So if you've not considered using one of these, I really encourage you to do the research not just take my word for it. I'm gonna put a link down in the video description so you can go and read about this sleep and glow pillow yourself. Look at the before and after pictures, look at their research, the clinical studies. Now, as always, if you should decide to get this or any sleep pillow, 
and use it, please come back to the video and let us know in the comments how it's working out for you. And for even more ways to improve the look of static wrinkles that you already have, be sure and check out this video that I picked out for you next. Again, thank you guys so much for checking in on me, watching today, tuning into YouTube, helping and share out my work. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you over on that next video.